Eco Communities Creating a Global Sustainability Cooperative. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 252. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 252, January 21st, 2018 edition. What One Community is creating is a collaborative of eco communities creating a global sustainability cooperative. We are designing and open sourcing and free sharing all of the tools, tutorials, resources, and do it yourself instructions for everything necessary to create replicable teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs built on sustainable infrastructure and demonstrating an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combines them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as high good education, high good economic models, uh, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together to create a model and a demonstration of a way to live that we can think most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now, and it's all built on open source and free shared infrastructure not just the infrastructure for the physical aspects, but also the infrastructure for the emotional aspects. Putting these things together to create eco-communities that are creating a global sustainability cooperative by adding to those open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions while inviting the world to participate. One community being the first of the eco-communities creating a global sustainability cooperative and leading the charge, leading the march, leading the movement by creating all the open source resources necessary for replication of everything that is we're doing. And not just replication as complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, which we believe is the ultimate expression of what it is that we're creating and what most people will gravitate, gravitate towards eventually, but creating everything so that it can be replicated as individual components as well. Because we understand that, especially in the beginning, the vast majority of people are not going to be interested, probably, in teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs. They're most likely just going to be interested in what it is we're doing. Like, what a novel idea. And, oh, yeah, there's these other groups that are really involved in this, and they're creating uh, teacher demonstration hubs as well, and they're building this global cooperative and collaborative, and, well, let's go visit one of those. Let's go check that out. And you'll visit something which is exactly like what you see in the background of the video happening here. One of the seven village models that we're designing, you'll be able to come and experience it. And if you like everything or any aspect of what it is that you experience, you'll be able to replicate that. And so, as I said, I think that most people probably initially be interested in replicating some component of it, maybe growing a food that they've never grown before or implementing an energy infrastructure strategy that they hadn't known of before or perhaps building just a sustainable houses like a, uh, like maybe a guest house or as a kid's playroom or something like that, which the Earth Bag Village is perfect for. Some sort of do-it-yourself project. But for those few select people, those groups that are interested in a new way of living that will truly transform the way that they look at the experience of life by providing more time and more things to do with that time than currently, even in metropolitan areas, uh, that isn't currently available even in metropolitan areas, that's what we want to demonstrate. They're basically a sustainability club med with lots of different options and activities that people can participate, all run and owned and operated by the people that live there. Like a bed and breakfast, bed and breakfast only a complete community that functions as a bed and breakfast. And the more people are invited to participate, and the more people are exposed to what it is that we're doing, and the more fun we're having doing it, the more successful the entire model is meant to be. And this is the foundation of eco-communities creating a global sustainability cooperative that becomes self-replicating. Demonstrate a way of living and a way of life that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. Open source and free share it so that it is affordable and easy to replicate and invite the world to participate. We call that making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it's attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own. And this is what One Community is all about. And this is what we're doing. And we have had hundreds of volunteers to this point. We have put in 
over 100,000 hours of work and effort into the design process, and we continue to develop it to the point where we will actually start building and demonstrate everything it is that one community is doing, invite the world to participate, invite initially hundreds of people to participate, then thousands, and eventually tens of thousands, and hundreds of thousands to visit annually to experience what it is that we're doing on a property that we'll be capable of permanently housing thousands of people and hosting so many more. This is what one community is doing. This is how we're creating eco, eco communities that are creating a global sustainability cooperative and the open source foundation, all the tools, tutorials, and resources, and everything that you're doing, the do-it-yourself do it instructions is our focus, working towards building a place that you and anybody that you know will be able to visit, experience, stay in an earth bag home or a shipping container home or a straw bale home or a cob home so that you can experience it. This is how one community is creating global change. And so with all that said, now let's take a look at one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal. We're an all-volunteer, 100% unpaid, nonprofit organization. Here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal. Let's check it out. Thanks. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. This week, we selected the area for the skate park, researched skate park images and ideas for SketchUp models, see the top right image, and created the initial skate park layout and designs. The core team also continued working on the Murphy bed instructions. This week, we set the auto numbering on the sections, added 20 new pages to the wireframe, and refined the section starts for consistent numbering. And the core team continued working on the water recycling net zero bathroom design page. This week's focus was aligning the images relative to the text and spacing. We also worked on adding more alt text to the images to improve the SEO rankings. Finally, the team began working on the table of contents for the page by adding all of the main sections to it and created the first third of the anchor links. We'd say we're now about 50% complete with the page. We also added the labyrinth and concert class amphitheater description to the compressed earth block village page. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 34th week volunteering with our team. This week's focus was creating the first versions of the vermiculture toilet and septic tank parts and cost analysis lists. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 97 of Dean's work. This week's focus was finishing the design of the freezer door shown here. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 13th week working on the compressed earth block village render editions. This week, he began work on the front perspectives shown here. And Jagannathan Shankar Mahadevan, mechanical engineer, completed his 13th week volunteering. This week's focus was finishing the first half of the Shipping Container Village materials cost text and graphics updates. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team finished another 30% of the LEED lighting tutorial details for the lighting design of the city center and all the other One Community structures. You can see some of this work here and the rest is on the site. This brings us page to 60% complete. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his ninth week helping with the HVAC designs for the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was creating version 1.0 of the presentation comparing the HVAC efficiencies of square and dome structures. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued work on the data for the food calculations on the food self-sufficiency transition plan pages and created additional daily eating plans and meals, as you see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, 
all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued researching images to add to the education, evaluation, and evolution process, open source pages, and tutorials. This week, we found images for the assessment format and assessment forms pages, as you can see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team working with Ashwin Patil, web developer, finished the stewardship search engine and added it to the highest good of all page, some of which you can see here. The core team also added new resources, a new furniture section, and new formatting to the highest good lifestyles page. The highest good network software team consists of Samya Manahar, Priti Kotari, Shubra Mittal, and Priyanka Singh. This week, the team resolved application launch errors, updated the Node version to accommodate async await functionalities, created a user management page, improved the formatting of our user profile, and implemented users seeing team names instead of team IDs. They also implemented form validations and ability to add or remove personal and admin links as per authorization. Well, there you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments of designing and open sourcing and free sharing eco communities, creating a global sustainability cooperative. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog, visit our website. If you'd like to join us, get involved and help out, there's lots of different ways to do that. The easiest of which is to share our information on social media, subscribe to this YouTube channel, get involved that way. Uh, we're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn, we're on Tumblr, we're on Reddit, we're on Pinterest, we are now uh, putting together our Instagram page as well. Facebook, of course, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for you to follow our work in whatever way works best for you and to share our work. Of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel is a great way to go as well. Uh, and if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Uh, or as I said, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. And with that said, thanks for following our progress. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for the likes that we get. Thank you for the shares that we get. Thank you for the emails that we get, all the comments that we get. Every little bit makes a difference. We truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you for the donations that we get. We're 100% volunteer, nonprofit organization. So 100% of the donations that we get goes to forwarding our open source mission. None of that goes to paying staff or any of our volunteers. We're 100% volunteer, including myself, unpaid staff. And so thank you for those donations. They help support our website infrastructure and ongoing development of all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions. It does make a difference. And uh, so, yeah, thank you. And, of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks.